Hi, so I have been struggling with this decision of whether to keep my Nord Stage 3 or to, um, to upgrade to the Nord Stage 4. And luckily there was some overlap. I recently purchased the Stage 3 and so now I have my hands on the stage four, but I got to return one. So um, I was, so I've been working on it. Now, I would have just um, known instantly the answer to that if I could have taken my, um, my library that I saved with the, um, the Nord software. I saved all my favorite sounds and I went to Guitar Center and I, um, with my computer and my chords, and I was planning to, um, to put all my sounds on the stage four. But of course, um, what they're saying is that it's a different, it's a different um, synthesizer engine, so they're not, um, they're not doing that. Now, I kind of object to that to some degree because what I've had to do is use the file viewer, that wonderful program. Um, so shout out to Florence for uh, making that software available um, for the Nord Stage 3. He's not going to be doing it for the Nord Stage 4 because he's not getting a Nord Stage 4. Now, um, now, it seems conceivable that they could have just used um, whatever uh, program was on the Stage 3 and, uh, and applied it to the stage four, because since I am using the, uh, this, this file viewer, and I'm going bit by bit, uh, trying to recreate my sounds, um, it seems like it would have been much easier to, if they had just gotten it started, even if it wasn't gonna be the same, because obviously it's a different synth engine, so the sound's not gonna be exactly the same, but, why does every single keyboard player who's been using the stage three have to go piece by piece and recreate that? So I kind of object to that. Um, uh, you know, someone could have made it a lot easier. Now, um, I also, another shout out to Mark of My Keys to Music, who's been awesome. And he suggested um, that someone, some enterprising person, might um, just recreate all of the preset sounds or be someone might, you know, just volunteer, like I'll, I'll pay me however many dollars and, and I will recreate that sound for you on the, um, on the Nord stage four. Now, I don't think that that person has appeared yet. So here I went, I'm not really a sound engineer, but I am just doing my best to uh, transfer uh, my favorite sounds from stage three to stage four. So, you know, I had to have some overlap in owning these two um, keyboards because I wasn't going to be able going to be able to do that at Guitar Center. So so what I found is um, I found some things that uh, are that are the same and different. And I just wanted to tell you about what those things were and then um, what my um, final decision is, um, whether to keep the stage three or four. So. Um, I'll tell you that I really have loved the Stage 3. It's the best keyboard I've ever owned. I love the, 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 the how much you can work with the, the synthesizer in a live situation. I love uh, the drawbars because I had the compact. Um, and I love um, the piano sounds. Um, I, I love this keyboard. And... It has allowed me to make some really phenomenal lead sounds and pads, and it's just a really wonderful instrument. Now, um, uh, playing with the, the stage four, there are some interesting synthesizer sounds, and the piano sounds are really fantastic. But I didn't find the, the real meaty um, synth sound programs that I found when I, when I first uh, f played with all the presets on the Nord Stage 3. There were just some on the Stage 3 that were just like, wow, these are great sounds and I love them. Um, I didn't really find that. I did, like I said, I did find the piano sounds are wonderful. And um, so if you are 
really going to be playing the Nord mostly for the piano, then you might be wanting to um, to go with the stage four because that really has some wonderful piano sounds. Now, um, given that I went back to my stage three and my sounds, um, I, I don't have all the original sounds there because I, I just uh, moved them out to make space for my sounds that, that I uh, worked with. But what I found was that um, some of the interesting sounds that they made on the stage four were they took the piano and they um, added like some flanger. They added, or flanger, is it? Yeah, flange, yeah. Flanger, they added some delay. They of course added some um, reverb um, and what else? Um, uh, oh, some tremolo sometimes. And adding, and also, um, you know, sometimes having the saw wave behind it. I put, so I kind of tweaked some of my, um, some of my keyboard sound, the, the piano sounds on the stage three. And I was able to really make some nice, some nice sounds. And, and I've been pretty happy with the piano anyway. Um, so um, uh, now getting to the meat of the issue, the synthesizer. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a different synth engine. And I was really excited about the possibility of having these layers where you could manipulate the layers in a live situation and manipulate them while you're creating sound because um, it's kind of a drag to go back and forth between the A and B because um, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just clunky. And I was really excited about that. But there are a few things that you should know. And so if you're used to using a Nord Stage 3, then some of the, so, so when you use the oscillator config, uh, when you, you pick um, a wave and then you use this oscillator config, then you get the detune, um, you know, the sync, the, um, the no noise, and you can dial it in to whatever percentage you want of the, the first and the second sound. Now that uh, sync is available, but not the noise, which is in a lot of my sounds, and not the um, detune. So in order to do detune and, uh, and have noise along with one of your layers, you need to, um, so for detune, you could use the uh, multi multi square um, these are super uh, super square super square and you can use super saw um, and then there's a way to do team do to that but it's really not it's not quite the same um, so the, the way that I got the most accurate recreation of the sound was to have a for detune to have a second square wave and then uh, fine tune those. Uh, so that uh, obviously takes up two layers, um, which is fine. I mean, if uh, it just, it, and also, you know, it is available. You can, you can see it all right there, but it, it makes it so that if you have noise in a lot of your sounds, which I do, um, then you're definitely gonna have to, um, you know, have another layer for the noise. Um, and so that takes up that takes up a, a layer. So, um, the other thing, uh, there, there's a few little, little things that are different, like the glide, I think it might be just a glitch in the programming, but the glide in the Nord Stage 4 is only like, uh, is, is much faster at, at, a, at a setting of 10. So if you want it to be a long glide, which is the case for one of the sounds that I really love, um, you are out of luck unless they reprogram it. So it's, um, it might be just something they're gonna fix down the line. Um, and then the other thing is just an FYI, the attack is a little different. I noticed um, an attack that on the Nord Stage 3 for one of my sounds, uh, it took a couple seconds to kick in, which was a little surprising because I thought it was like 2.3 seconds is 2.3 seconds but it came in right away on the or instead of waiting. So I had to do a longer attack. Um, the other thing is, um, 
Okay, I think those were kind of some of the main things that I found. I didn't do a ton of uh, work. I, I tried to, to transfer about three, uh, three or three and a half sounds because by then I kind of had made my decision. So the other, the thing that, that is the main issue for me is that even though, um, that even though uh, I used the file viewer, um, I recreated my sound on the stage three, and then I went to recreate the sounds on the stage four, the best I can, you know, given that there some of the some of the elements are just just different. Um, uh, I also I got um, help from Mark, so thank you, Mark, from uh, my keys to music. Um, but I really wasn't able to get the same sounds. And, and if I were a sound engineer, maybe I could get those sounds because maybe there's just something I'm missing. I I did the centurial that he recommended, highly recommend it, um, but I'm not there to the extent where I can get um, get what I need out of the, out of the Nord stage four. Um, so if you are um, someone that's gonna go directly from, uh, from the file viewer to um, to uh, to your Nord Stage Four, you're not gonna. It's not gonna be the same. And if and you might if if you if you definitely want to get the Stage Four, because um, I know that like there's a cool arpeggiator that I have. You know, it's not like something that I'm so into. So I'm just not really going there right now. Um, uh, if you're Want to, you would definitely want to really record the sound that you love so that you have it and you can work towards recreating it. Um, or, you know, hire a professional if there, someone decides that they are going to do that. Um, but it's, not gonna, it's definitely not going to be the same. And I, I really love the sound of the Nord Stage 3. I love the sounds that I have. And I... I feel like the the additional ability to use the layers um, is cool, but not worth it uh, to give up those beautiful, luscious sounds that um, that I've come to really love. Even oh, I've only had this uh, like uh, for a short time. I mean, I, I had some. Uh, yeah, I've had it like for like two or three months. Um, but they, but there was, there was a special contingency and so I was going to be able to return it, but I think I'm just going to keep it and bring this back. Um, the, the Nord stage four, uh, I love, I love the sounds I'm going to play for you. Um, the, one of the sounds and it's just one little thing, but, uh, one little element, uh, but, um, but it's just each, each one, each sound that I tried to recreate, I wasn't really able to to make it happen, and um, using the file viewer, I, even though I went step by step, and um, uh, maybe you know maybe someone can maybe someone can make those sounds, but I think it might be just that I like the synth engine better in the Nord Stage Three, and so maybe I'll go with the Nord Stage Five if they go back to the synth engine and then add the the layers and the arpeggiator and whatever else cool new thing that they can add uh, in a few years. But I'm gonna be happy with my Nord Stage 3. I think it's the best instrument I've ever owned um, as far as a synthesizer. Um, it just, I love the big sound that it creates. Um, I, I just think it's a phenomenal instrument. And um, I think that that's all the comments that I wanted to make and I will show you at the end um, I'll, I'll I'll play the sound uh, for you uh, you know I, I'm not going to play it here because I have I recorded it with the logic the Nord stage three and four um, sounds and uh, and I'll show you the uh, the the printout that I made of that sound that I love and I'd love to hear your comments and what you think about this and if you have any questions, I'd be happy to entertain them, but also I would just continue to follow Mark from My Keys to Music because he's kind of got his finger on the pulse of all this. 
Um, and uh, he's replying to a lot of people, I think, like a lot of people asking questions and, and telling them how, uh, how they feel. But I did notice a lot of comments in his, in his videos that other people prefer the sound of the Nord Stage 3 as well. Um, and I, you know, I think that's where I am. Okay, so thank you very much. And I just wanted to share that just to make it help, see if that would help you make your decision um, a little bit easier so that you don't have to go through all this uh, if you don't want to. Um, so that's it. Okay, thank you.